Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. This article and uh, the number provide numbers provided by this article and the geographical location of this uh, incident uh, will show us how the American public pays for the military to protect certain kind of interests on the globe and uh, around the globe and unfortunately american are you coming up are you coming up american citizens are dying american citizens are dying trying to protect some uh, geopolitical interests and obviously in the end economic interests of some big corporations so let's start with the article the article comes from Sputnik and it is from yesterday, the 21st of November, 2023. Pentagon reveals US forces were attacked 66 times since uptick in the Middle East violence. So since um, 7th of October, the Americans are not wanted over there. Well, who's paying for that? taxpayers who's uh, profiting out of that in one one sense we might be profiting so we are partners in crime why because maybe all that oil that is taken from that area if it's taken at least from Syria then is sold supposedly on our market therefore we have a cheaper oil cheaper gas could be what's going on I'm on my lap Hmm? You're inspecting? Okay, let me let me go back to this article here. All right, so um, Washington, U.S. forces have been attacked. Don't go over there. Sixty-six times in the Middle East since the uptick of in violence that began in mid-October. Defense Department Deputy Spokesperson Sabrina Singh, I think Sabrina is a woman, said on Tuesday. And I'm quoting, U.S. forces have been attacked approximately 66 times since October 17th, 32 separate times in Iraq and 34 times in Syria. So remember, 32 and 34. Now, 34 in Syria. Here is the map of the Middle East. We are interested in Syria, which is the green thing here, the dark green. And this is Iraq. Israel is this uh, poop color right here. And we have uh, Lebanon, we have Jordan, and Saudi Arabia, and the friends in Yemen. <laughs> okay, so we have these guys. The Americans are located in Syria illegally, deployed over there. So that's illegal, their deployment over there. They take the oil from the northeastern part of the country, the richest part. 90% of Syria's oil is located there. Regardless what America's reason is over there, or the arguments and reasons they provide, they are over there illegally. Now they're still in Iraq somehow, probably to protect the rocket from uh, Syria. Uh, somehow they brought <coughs> democracy and freedom, but they stayed, they remained over there. And that oil probably goes to Iraq, Iraq probably right here in Persian Gulf, and gets out this way towards markets. So let's go back to the little article and see what else these guys are telling us. U.S. personnel have sustained approximately 62 injuries in the name of freedom and democracy. You fall for that still after 2001. In this attacks, Singh said, not noting that the number of injuries does not include those sustained during the Monday night attack because they are still being evaluated. They need uh, um, calculators. According to the U.S. Central Command, militias allegedly, allegedly, that's a good word, backed by Iran, uses a close-range ballistic missile against U.S. and coalition forces at the, they used one. I covered that one. They resulted in this. Pop, 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 pop. Yes, this is the first time since October 17 when these attacks started on U.S. forces. This is the first time that this type of munition was used against U.S. forces. So what are the... Uh, U.S. forces in Iraq and Syria have seen a significant increase in the number of attacks since the breakout of the Palestine-Israel conflict in early October. So the conclusion is this. You're not wanted over there, but you don't care. 
Now you American uh, public, you support the illegal occupation of Syria. It's not, it is not legal. If you say we're fighting terrorism, imagine that China will claim, I fight terrorism, I'm going to come and drop a few, uh, how do you call them, uh, military bases here. What would you say <laughs> uh, if they dare? You're not going to talk about legality, you're going to talk about might. So you see, it's about might, it's not about uh, rule-based world order, this garbage of they're telling us about. It's not legal, they fight terrorism. There's no terrorism here, just a court occurred. According to the Chinese, they can find terrorism wherever they feel like, wherever they qualify it as terrorism. The United States fight terrorism wherever it says is terrorism. If tomorrow they decide that terrorism is in your house, they will come in your house. Is there terrorism in your house? No, but according to them, and that's exactly what matters, they qualify it as that and say terrorism. So again, they are in Syria. Syria is like Ukraine, an independent sovereign nation, attacked and occupied by US troops. And they are attacked by people around because they don't want the hawk in the tree. And the birds from the vicinity and around where they live in that area, they come around the hawk and they try to pick, 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 pick on the hawk. And the hawk is uh, attacked in self-defense, will eat a few birds. That's how things are, based on power, my friends, and interest. Now, you have the military over there. Uh, how long before the U.S. will say, you know what, these guys are uh, our enemies, we designated them as enemies because we can, and we're going to attack uh, them full force. What are we going to say then? Well, uh, if the government says that uh, they are our enemies, then we believe the government, and therefore, because we are the greatest country in the world, with a democratic and free world and free press, we should believe it. So yes, yes, son, you got to go and fight for, I don't know, Raytheon and other companies, or maybe Shell, uh, Dutch, and all that. You can go over there for Amoko, Sunoko, Kakoko, Boloko, and fight for them over there. Okay, bye-bye, see you never. Don't call me at your funeral. I won't be there. Because I don't know you're going to be one piece or ten. And they can identify you. Great. Imagine, not imagine, be certain 100% are people like that in this country. There are many of them. Many of them. How do I know? I met a few. I met a few. So let's say from 3,000 people that I met. I can't say 3,000 people. It depends on what capacity. In order to, to get that deep. I found a few. Let's put it this way. A few. Some. And if you can think like that and vote in the same time, what else do you believe? <laughs> that the earth is flat? All right, here is my friends. Our taxes go into the military. The military protects in economic interests that are not our interest necessarily. Our soldiers die because of decisions made by some in the name of the political and economic financial system over there. Uh, interest. That's what it is. Uh, remember the campaign donations, uh, how democracy works in this country, all right? All right. Two-party system. One, actually. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.